Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. Um, and in this video, I just wanted to uh, actually show you guys something um, that I actually found online. We're actually in an app um, actually called uh, Down Detector. Um, so what Down Detector actually does is um, it's actually an app to show you if uh, uh, you know a service is down. Um, you know that's why it's called Down Detector. Um, you know, like a service like Yahoo. Um, you know, it, it can be anything, Gmail, Twitter, um, you know, uh, Google, um, you know, Wi-Fi networks, you know, uh, cellular networks. Um, it's made by Ookla, you know, the same uh, company that actually makes the speed test app. Um, and it's available for, uh, you know, an Android or iOS, um, so you can download it. Um, so I found something interesting in there, you know, I, I didn't actually think to check this, um, when I was actually having problems with the T-Mobile 5G home internet speeds earlier, um, well actually, you know, yeah, earlier today, um, well actually early on, on Tuesday, um, because if you guys haven't watched my channel recently, I have, or haven't watched it at all, if you're new, um, I go over a bunch of, you know, T-Mobile 5G home internet speed tests, um, you know, I try to do some every day, you know, but if I don't have time, you know, I just don't get around to it. Um, but, uh, today, or, well, actually on Tuesday, I keep saying today, um, but on Tuesday, I actually did a couple before work, um, around, uh, around 12 o'clock in the afternoon, um, and the, and the speeds were absolutely horrendous. Um, so I ended up contacting T-Mobile and I asked them if every, anything was going on, um, and they actually told me that they were modernizing, um, modernizing, uh, the tower near me, um, so I don't know if it's only the tower near me, um, or if it's the towers, you know, around me completely, you know, everywhere around me, um, you know, where I live, you know, I'm not really sure, um, but they told me that they were modernizing the tower, um, and, and actually when I came back home, I have a ch another video on my channel about that, um, if you want to check that out, I actually, uh, I, I came back home and I did, uh, speed tests, I didn't restart the gateway or anything, um, I came back home and I, uh, did some speed tests after work, um, and actually the speeds were back to normal, um, but I found on Down Detector, I actually went into the app here, um, and I didn't actually think about looking at that until now, um, I actually went in here and I, uh, I actually have it favorited, but I can actually search for it, just type in T-Mobile here, um, and as you can see, it says, uh, Metro by T-Mobile, um, and that's showing an orange arrow, um, with a, uh, yeah, an orange arrow with a, with an exclamation point through it, um, well, not an arrow, like a sign, you know, like, like a caution sign, um, and the T-Mobile, which is down here, you know, that I actually have under favorites, um, is actually in the red, and that's actually, uh, you know, a little symbol with a red, um, exclamation point, um, so if I click on here, it'll tell me, um, it says user, uh, reports indicate possible problems at Metro by T-Mobile, so that's in the yellow, um, this is in the red, this is T-Mobile, um, so it says user reports indicates problems at T-Mobile, um, at T-Mobile, um, so if you see down here, it says the report map, um, and it says the United States, and it shows the map, and that's all in red, um, and I'm actually in South Jersey, so that's around here, um, you know, on the map, so that's in red, um, so that's definitely not a good sign, so that definitely means that something's going on at T-Mobile, um, you know, whether it be with the whole entire network, um, or with, you know, specific towers, but this seems like it might be like, uh, you know, a, a nationwide thing going on, um, you know, because it's saying that Metro by T-Mobile, which is basically, um, you know, still T-Mobile is having problems, um, you know, they're just a smaller carrier owned by T-Mobile, um, you know, they have different plans and everything cheaper, um, but, uh, you know, that's, that's not a good sign that that's in yellow, um, and the, and the T-Mobile is actually in red, and if I click on this again, you can actually see down here, um, it says report type 38% for mobile phone, um, and then the big one here is, um, it says 5G home internet 30%, um, so it's saying no signal 17%, 
Um, I haven't actually had that problem, you know, thankfully. Um, but the big two here that, you know, I'm, I'm talking about are the 38% for mobile phone um, and 30% for 5G home internet. Um, and people are actually updating it now. Um, you know, it says nine minutes ago, you know, you can come in here and read the comments and stuff. I'm not going to really do that. Um, but um, it, it definitely seems like something's going on with the T-Mobile uh, network in general. So I'm glad, um, you know, that it's not just my, you know, T-Mobile 5G home internet seeming like it's messing up. Um, you know, it seems like it's something, you know, uh, you know, either towers or, you know, network wide, um, you know, with Metro by T-Mobile and also T-Mobile. Um, so I'm hoping that they're going to, you know, straighten this out soon, but my speeds, um, like I said, uh, my speed seem to be back on prayer, um, back on Pearl, you know, they seem to be, um, you know, I, I pushed a video out, you know, not too many, too many hours ago, um, around like 11 or 12, um, it's now 1.30 a.m. on a Wednesday, um, but when I got home, I, like I said, I didn't restore the gateway or anything, um, I just, you know, uh, did the test as is, and it was giving me my speeds back, um, so I'm hoping that they did fix it, you know, if they, you know, are having problems, but, you know, down detector, um, is really good at, you know, being reliable, um, you know, like I said, so, uh, they're made by Ookla, um, you know, so they're, they're a really reliable, um, you know, company, just like the speed test app that they make, um, and I can also, I also typed in Verizon here, and as you can see, Verizon is also in the red, so it says user, uh, reports indicate problems at Verizon as well, um, so you don't see as many red on here, though, um, but there still are some red in the, in the, uh, things here, um, and that's, you know, uh, and, and this is actually bigger for, uh, mobile phone, um, it actually says 41% for mobile phone and only 25%, um, for 5G home internet, um, and 14% for mobile internet, um, so, you know, I don't have Verizon, so that's not really a big deal to me, um, but that, that kind of tells me that it could be the towers, you know, acting up because of Verizon, um, and T-Mobile are having problems, um, you know, with stuff being down, and that tells me that it's like a network-wide thing, um, you know, with all the towers, so that's, you know, um, most likely what's going on, uh, let me actually type in AT&T here. So it doesn't say anything about AT and T. Doesn't say that there's any problems, but it is showing red uh, red spots. Um, it says no signal. Thirty one percent AT and T is not really that good around here anyway. So, you know that could you know always be a problem. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it says uh, twenty five percent for uh, mobile internet and twenty five percent for landline internet. Um, and then only 8% for phone, um, but it doesn't show anything in the red, so, um, let me see, uh, let me try, uh, Tello, I don't know if they have Tello, no, they don't, um, let me try another one, Cricket Wireless, maybe, so yeah, Cricket Wireless is giving some stuff, too, um, Cricket Wireless is actually owned by AT&T, so they use, their they're basically like Metro by T-Mobile, but for AT&T, um, Cricket Wireless, so it says users report indicate, uh, problems at Cricket Wireless, let's see what they have, so they actually have more red, um, so it actually says 51% no signal, uh, 33% mobile phone, um, and then it says, uh, mobile internet, <coughs> only 1%, so that's not that bad for the internet, but, uh, it's still, you know, in the, in the yellowish, so that's, that's not a good sign. Uh, let me see, cell phone, let me see, 5G, if I type in 5G, um, I don't know if it actually has a category if I can go on, um, doesn't look like it, let me go down here and see, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna really get too much into it, but, but the main thing is, it seems like other carriers are having issues as well, like Verizon, um, is also having issues, and Cricket Wireless is also having issues, um, you know, with the, uh, you know, with their stuff, um, you know, like I said, I have, uh, T-Mobile favorited here, um, and I thought about it, I thought to myself, why don't I check, you know, 
uh, I, why don't I check online and see, you know, if it's actually down, um, and sure enough, you know, it's in the red, so, um, as you can see there, you know, that's quite a bit of, uh, you know, red, um, you know, and, and, uh, you know, users indicating that there's problems, so that's, uh, you know, never a good sign, um, and like I said, the Metro by T-Mobile is also having problems, so, uh, let me search for that, Metro, some reason, so, oh, that's because it's not under freight favorites, sorry, uh, so yeah, Metro by T-Mobile, like I said, you know, that's in the yellow, um, that's a little bit spotty, you know, it's in, you know, different places, um, but, you know, that's spotty compared to T-Mobile. Let me go back to that. And as you can see, you know, there's more, um, you know, I'm like in this area, like I said, you know, in, in this area here, um, in New Jersey, South Jersey. Um, so that's in the red, so that's not a good sign. Um, and people are, you know, currently updating this 15 minutes ago, 3 hours, 4 hours, 5 hours. Um, so that's... You know, that's, that's a good thing in a way, um, that I, you know, went on here and, and, you know, saw this because, um, you know, I, I thought about it and I thought to myself, well, why don't I, why don't I check out and see if it's down? Um, so I, I searched on Google and I, uh, and down detector came up. I searched if T-Mobile was having problems. I, uh, searched on Google. Um, I, I typed in as T-Mobile down, um, or having network problems. That's what I put in. Um, and down detector actually came up, and I forgot that I actually had this app installed, um, and then I, uh, I saw that it was having problems, and then I decided to just open up the app here, um, and then, you know, make a video, because like I said, Verizon is also having problems. I can, uh, search for that here, again. But yeah, as you can see, Verizon's in the red there as well, um, but it doesn't seem to be, you know... Um, in the red as much as the T-Mobile one is, um, or the Metro by T-Mobile one is, so, um, but either way, you know, it seems like they're, they're all having problems, you know, AT&T, um, is having problems with their Cricket Wireless, um, which is basically like Metro by T-Mobile, and Metro by T-Mobile, um, and T-Mobile are actually having, uh, problems, um, and, you know, more, more so T-Mobile than Metro by T-Mobile, because T-Mobile's in the red, um, and, you know, uh, Metro was in, only in the yellow, um, but, you know, that's still indicating that there's problems with it somewhat, um, and also, you know, Verizon, like I said, was in the red, so, um, so that's basically it, guys, you know, that's basically the video, um, I just wanted to get this video out there, you know, I figured I'd share this with you guys, since I was having horrendous speeds earlier, um, so I'm hoping that they, um, actually fixed this, so, um, I'm hoping that they did fix this, um, but anyway, um, you know, like I said, if you guys like this video, uh, please like and subscribe, and until next time, guys.